Hello there. To borrow from my adoptive country's vernacular, to be homesick absolutely sucks ass. I too was once uh, unfamiliar and in fact new to this crazy and expansive world they call America. Back then it was, a, it was a simpler time in 2008, you know, Snapchat hadn't been released yet and Justin Bieber hadn't been unleashed on the world and Joe the Plumber was what counted for outrageous. So if you're feeling homesick, I, I get it, I really, 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 really get it. Can you tell? I really, absolutely get it. Well here's my advice, right? You, you could go home. You could say, to hell with this place, everything smells like cinnamon, I'm leaving. If that's your plan and you've reached the conclusion that you're definitely going and I can't change your mind, then best of luck. But if you're determined to make your American life work without feeling homesick, then there's one thing you really need to do, and that's breathe. Come on, let's, let's do it now. Get in a circle and hold hands. We can't hold hands, actually. Um, but uh, breathe with me, people, okay? Deep intake of breath. <sighs> This is how you breathe in a British accent. And this is how you breathe in an American accent. And this is how I, actually I don't know what I'm doing, but uh, take my word for it, breathing is important. So breathe throughout the remainder of this video because if you don't, you know, you'll be dead. And while you breathe nice and deep, I want you to consider the following things with me. Consider with me the reason that you moved here. Was it for work? Was it for marriage? Were you brought here against your own will? If, if you were, then there's nothing I can do. Call the authorities. But whatever the reason was, trust yourself on that decision. You know, I'm a firm believer in always following your instincts, unless you're a murderer. Uh, but you know, stick to your guns. If, if you moved here because you're in a good marriage, stay married. If you move here for work, stay employed. If you move here on a student exchange program, stay in bed. And while we're on the subject of education, that is one of the primary reasons that I am still here. I don't mean university education, I was drunk for most of that. No, the education that comes with living in another country, it can seriously change the way you see the world. You come to see it with a whole new perspective. In fact, you come to see Britain in a whole new perspective. Mind you, I think everybody has in 2016. Mainly because 2016 is a runaway cocaine train. But just imagine, right, how good it's going to feel to visit, say, your family back home with this, this newfound perspective. Think about how smug you'll be when you declare your, your knowledge of the US grid system, or the fact that you survived minus 30 degree weather, or that you ran away naked from a grizzly bear. You know, they're just my example. But do not underestimate how living in the US, or indeed any country, can change you for the better. Okay, so what about all the good people you've left behind? How do you come to terms with them? Well, firstly, take a moment to remember all of the bad people you've left behind. They're not living in America because they're not as cool as you. And as for the good people, well, we have technology. Skype is your friend. Use it. I mean, sure, Skype doesn't let you have physical contact like hugging, but you're British. Why would you need that? You know, a quick hello once a week goes a long way to shrinking the Atlantic. That was a metaphor. But what about America itself? What is it about America that is uh, contributing to your homesickness? Its biggest crime, it seems, is that it's not Britain. But what place is? Except, you know, Britain. I mean, it's not America's fault, is it? They did everything they could to get away from the British. And so I suppose in that sense, it, it really is their fault. But speaking of getting away, here's a thought. Get away from your house. You know, perhaps part of you is homesick because you're sick of being stuck in your home. You know, get out there and meet people. Not, not all American stereotypes are true. You know, you've just got to keep an open mind. Some of them are true, um, but don't let that deter you. And finally, what about all of your British stuff? You know, your chocolate, your tea, your biscuits. Oh, the biscuits. And what about your TV shows? I can't live without EastEnders. Well, in the words of Douglas Adams, don't panic. Because if you know where to look online, you can actually get all, uh, or at least most, of these things. In fact, check out World Market or the uh, international aisle at your local grocery store. You know, if you're willing to pay the $3 for a tin of Heinz baked beans, then you're going to have some really good farts. And if you're still homesick after all of that, then just remember that you've got me. I'm going to be on YouTube forever. And that's not a promise. That's a threat. No, no, ah. Oh.
Thank you for watching this episode of Lost in the Pond. As ever, be sure to subscribe to us right here on YouTube, where you can watch new episodes every Tuesday and Thursday. And if you're in the US, find out where you can get your hands on all your favourite British stuff by following us on Instagram. Until next time, cheerio!